So the two shooters were dressed as policemen? Yes, they're the ones who shot Akutsu. They couldn't have been real officers though, right? Yeah. I'm guessing Soma gave uniforms to two of his own guys. Regardless of their affiliation, they were there on Soma's orders. Kaito-san's theory is that he's actually a public security agent. Get this talk. In America, they call people who go undercover moles. <laughs> moles, huh? If this really was public security, I can't believe they'd go so far as murder. Oh. Soma probably thinks he's backed into a corner. If word got out he's been a plant since his Tojo days. Not even being the head honcho will save him. He'd be nothing but a rat. And RK's got plenty of ex-Tojo in it who'd want his head for that. I hadn't considered that. Those fake cops tried to take us out, too. They'll silence anyone who gets in the way. Hey, you think your office could post some officers' agendas? At least for tonight. Sure. I can get that arranged. Shouldn't you guys have protection too, though? I appreciate the concern. But Kaito-san and Higashi are ex-Yakuza. Not exactly a good mix, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> you said it. Thanks, but no thanks. Soma's probably gonna head even deeper underground after all this. But if we can track him down, we'll get the dirt on public security we need. Then we can do right by Sawa-sensei, and even bring Kawana and Riko Kusamoto to justice. All right. Good idea. Don't worry, Saori-san. You should be safe from here on. Ah, uh, what gives, Saori? You change up your look and the guys line up to protect you? <laughs> Maybe you should put some effort into it once in a while yourself. <laughs> Are you telling me this isn't effort?
Oh, hey. Heard it was a rough night. When I heard Akatsu was shot, I just froze. All I could think was, what if something happened to Saori-san? Couldn't spare a thought for us? Well, we're glad everyone's safe. Yeah, but... Soma got the jump on us. He's a bigger threat than we thought. What do you mean by that? We think he's working undercover for public security. Undercover? It's a new development. I'm sure it puts a damper on Genda-sensei and Hoshino-kun's big night out. Huh? Well, uh, I only showed up because Hoshino-kun talked me into it. You said you wanted to see what it was like in there, too! Did I really? Hmm. I don't recall that. Incredible. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to go change. To put it lightly, looks like you guys are in for the cold shoulder for a while. Interesting. If what you say is true, a public security agent is scooping up thugs into RK. Yeah, and his name's Kazuki Soma. We haven't confirmed it yet. But if he really is an undercover agent, then everything starts to make sense. Public security gets to use RK as their pawns, who feed them intel from the streets. All those scumbags are just working for public security. That setup is exactly what let Soma and RK grow so successful in the first place. For example, I'm sure the guys who killed Akatsu are RK, but they were definitely decked out in real police gear. Soma's role in public security would make getting that gear easy. If that's true, we can't trust anyone in uniform now. Should we be concerned about the police downstairs? Don't worry. They're here thanks to Mafia. All things considered. Can't the police do anything about Soma? Well, according to public security, there's no one by that name on record. So that's a dead end. They must have wiped him from their files already. Soma had to have been in the Tojo clan for ten years minimum. He and Akutsu were both in the Nikio Consortium. Higashi knows more about that stuff than me, though. Okay. We'll ask him about it tomorrow, then. Hmm. Sounds good. Really, guys?
Really, guys? Really, guys?
and stay down. guys
Really, guys? Stay down. Hello? Yagamishi, this is Tsukumo. We have a problem. The Yokohama Liomong were attacked this morning. What? Attacked by who? RK. They've been boosting their numbers in a Jinsho. They're probably hunting Kawana. Fortunately, he seems to have escaped them. But he's gone completely off the grid again. How bad was it for the Liomong? Several are wounded, according to Tesosan. Did any of them see Soma during the attack? I haven't heard for certain. All I know is that it was total chaos. I see. Okay. What's the plan, Yagamishi? I'm gonna dig into Soma's past. I feel like there's something there. Could you keep trying, Kawana? Your wish is my command. See you. What's up, Doc? Uh, sorry, folks. My shift's starting. One of you take over. Oh, I'll do it, Kaito! Great. Don't forget to block. Got it? I won't. Oh, man. You're a rock star to these kids. <laughs> Crazy, right? 
You should see Higashi with them, though. Really? Higashi-san, Yagami Sensei is here for you. Lose that Sensei shit, you idiot. No honorifics for assholes. Uh, in that case, that Yagami asshole is here for you. Talk about its emotion. Right. Well, I do know a thing or two about Soma's Tojo clan days. He swore under the Nikio Consortium, a direct family. The Nikio Consortium was a pretty big deal. Even if they did bite the dust with the main family. Right. Among them, Soma and Akutsu were both looking like officer candidates. Apparently, the Nikio's role in the family was to handle off-the-record dirty work. No matter how much they raked in, the higher-ups took their cut and left the mess. Those two got hung out to dry, basically. Nevertheless, they sucked it up and hoped they'd be the ones on top someday. But, as you know, the Tojo clan got hit hard, disbanding before they ever even got their shot. They devoted years to the family, all to get nothing in return. I'd be willing to buy that for Akatsu. But if Kaito-san is right, Soma was working the Tojo clan from the inside for public security. That's how he knew sooner than anyone else that the Tojo was on the way out. Being undercover, he could see the writing on the wall and plan accordingly. That's why he founded the criminal network RK, so he could gather up and monitor all the ex Yakuza at once. Okay, now that you mention it, RK has been dipping into the shady side of Kamurocho. They're strong arming anyone who acts without their blessing first. You want to do shady shit? You need an RK permit these days. Yeah. That's why the Somas and Undercover Agent theory makes sense to me. If we find a concrete link between him and public security, then we'll know for sure. Higashi, who might have known Soma back then? Someone with authority who'd know how he joined the Tojo clan. Well, let's see. Would the Nikio president work? President? Not patriarch? Same shit. His name's Irie, but whatever kind of boss he was then, now he's just another champion district drunk. I have some questions for him. Once I have the link between Soma and public security, it'll all fall into place. I don't know, man. You want to meet him, knock yourself out. He spends his days at a joint called Earth Angel. Gotcha. I'll come with you, Tak. Let's roll, Tom. Stay down.
waste. What is it? Here we are, the former head of the Nikyo's local haunt. He just gets plastered here all day? <laughs> Damn, lucky son of a bitch. President Irie. Uh-huh. Uh, my name is Kaito. I used to be in the Matsugane family. Matsugane? Ah, oh, one of his boys, huh? You knew my boss? He was your classic old school Yakuza. He had duty, had dignity, but he couldn't earn. <laughs> yeah, maybe he was the lucky one, dying before he became whatever I am now. Would you mind if we asked you a few questions? This is my partner, Yagami. He's a civvy, but he was like family to the boss. It's a pleasure. So... What do you want to ask? Could you tell us about Kazuki Soma? You might know him as head of RK now. Huh. <laughs> Soma, huh? Joined the family when he was just a little sprat. Here he's quite the big shot now. Let me buy you a drink. Mind if I join you here? Our lieutenant scouted out some back in the day. He'd heard some kid was flushing his money away in one of our casinos. Turned out the kid was sweet-talking ladies into handing him their money. Yeah. Sounds like a model Yakuza candidate. You mean Kamrocho's old underground casino? Yeah, that was one of ours. <laughs> yeah, the cops would keep shutting them down, and we keep building more. What made you ask Soma to join the family? Was he the one who initially approached you? I think so. He was pretty attached to that lieutenant I mentioned before. Soma had no problem following orders, but he had a natural authority to him, too. Makes for a damn good Yakuza. Of course, a violent streak is the other half of the equation. Say, before he joined up, how much digging did you really do on Soma? What's that supposed to mean? You checked his background and everything, right? Well, I'm sure we did our homework. It's not like that was my responsibility. irie son, there's a chance Soma was working for public security the whole time. What did you say? Considering he may have been undercover from the start, does anything strike you as strange now? Maybe some suspicious behavior or contacts with people you didn't know? No, I have no idea. The thought never even crossed my mind. He took some really risky gigs. You didn't hear this from me, but he even took at least one hit job. A hit job? Some time back. And there was this punk who ratted us out to the cops. And the higher-ups ordered Soma to kidnap the guy and bury him in the mountains. He handled it so well, people were kinda creeped out. Like, it wasn't his first time. At least, I remember Akutsu telling me that. I already got killed last night. <laughs> Word travels fast. Who'd you hear it from? <laughs> oh, darkness runs deep in this city. Never assume you're the only ones in the know. Akutsu just realized last night that Soma is an undercover public security agent. That's why he was silenced. Sure, but what's it matter? At this point, I don't give a shit if Soma's undercover. The family's dead and gone now. What happened to everyone else after you shut down the consortium? Half of them went legit. 
Some of them went and joined the sixth chairman for his new deal. I guess the rest crawled back underground. The Greener family boys all got invited to RK. So it's none of your concern that your former family is being manipulated by public security? <laughs> Those guys don't even come to see me during bone season or New Year's. They're just spoiled brats now. An arrogant group of thugs. Family my ass. <sighs> All this talk's making my drink taste like shit. I guess the young ones nowadays are pretty wrapped up in themselves. To be fair, though, I don't know anybody who'd want to waste their time with a gloomy drunk. How about we grab a bite together when you sober up? Because if this is really the fate of the Tojo clan's patriarchs, no way those of us who work to make it big are going to live it down. Sorry for that. In Kaito-san's old life, becoming a direct family was their biggest dream. When he looks at you, he sees what Matsugane-san might have been if things had been different. Anyway, thank you very much for your time. Now you know the Misawa building on North Senryo Avenue? It's got a gambling den with a decent Chohan setup. Gambling den? Yeah, I've actually been there before. What about it? It's run by this group originally from Rapongi. Now RK is saying they're owed a piece of the pie. RK really is putting the pressure on the Kamrocho underground, huh? Yeah, but the Rapongi crew won't pay up. So I hear RK is gonna come down hard on their place tonight. They wanna make an example out of him. Put some guys in the hospital. Maybe even the morgue. Wait, are you saying Soma might be there tonight? <laughs> Who knows? The ones running tonight's show are ex-Tojo. The top dogs of RK showing the newbies how it's done. Who'd you hear this from? <laughs> What did I say before? Don't assume you guys are the only ones who know everything. <laughs> I appreciate the lesson. What else is there to say, Tak? RK is raiding a gambling den tonight. Remember that tatami room we got acquainted with? Apparently, the people running the room won't pay Soma's gang a cut. So someone there is gonna have some answers. Maybe even Soma himself. Yeah. All right. What is it? We might be right on time. Yeah. Yagami! Anaki! What the hell's going on? It's RK. They've got ex-Tojo members running a raid here. Why? Supposedly, the out-of-towners running it won't pay RK off. And there's even a chance Soma's here. It's a surprising amount of context. Right. Now let's get in there.
Captain Murph! Shut the fuck up, you little shit! Hey, got a minute? Huh? There's still more of you? I know that face. Dude was famous in the Tojo clan. For being a maniac. There's more like him in here too? Is Soma here with you? Enough with your mouth! Let's go! Telling where Soma or his arcade goons are at. Gotta keep our eyes open. <sighs> it's too damn dark to see what's around here. Yeah, but there's no way this is a dead end. Should be a way to get the lights on, right? Suspicious. What the? Suspicious. Uh huh. What the? Hey. Oh, what have we here? Door with a pa Interesting. Yo, guessing this is the door we gotta deal with. Just gotta figure out the passcode. Hey. What are we gonna do about that? Might find clues somewhere else. Let's what roll then. The hell? Never know till you try. <laughs> Let's try looking somewhere else. to chat? Please, just leave me alone. I will, don't worry. All I need is the passcode for the door up ahead. Zero five zero eight, or wait, was it eight zero one zero? Come on, get a grip. Well, I guess I can try both. Either zero five zero eight or eight zero one zero, huh? Better not forget. Zero five zero eight or eight zero one zero, right? Yeah. Okay. Huh? Did you put it in right? Should be zero five zero five zero eight. Yeah. Put it in right. Zero five zero. Yeah. 
I'll give it a shot. Huh? Did you put it in right? Should be 0508. 0, 05. Yeah, I'll give it a. Nice. There's gotta be a way upstairs somewhere around here. I'm gonna go look. You two wait here, okay? Yeah. 